YouTube. So I'm going to give you guys a scoop on this bad boy. You see I got a beautiful red lens for uh, night hunting coyotes. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and sign. I'll show you how I did it. All right, guys, so now that we're inside, I'm going to go ahead and give you the rundown. So you guys know I got a really huge uh, tournament coming up, Predator Hunt Tournament. And they actually lifted the restriction of hunting at night, which is awesome. Uh, normally, in a lot of these competitions, they don't allow you to hunt at night. They don't allow you to trap. They don't allow you to bait, and so on and so forth. But they actually lifted uh, the whole restriction on night hunting. And so that gives us an opportunity to go out at night and do some yacht hunting, uh, bobcat hunting, fox hunting. Because to me, honestly, at night is when they are really active and less fearsome. They don't try to hide out. They don't try to, you know, roll, roll low or nothing like that. They're out and about. They're trying to hunt. They're trying to eat. And so with that being said, I didn't even think about it until you know just now i was like okay i'm gonna try to get with you know a couple of my sponsors who sponsor flashlights see if they got anything they can ship me overnight well there was nothing there you know and i didn't have an opportunity to get a red lens if i was to order something off amazon or ebay it would get here too late even if i did an overnight shipping so i was pretty much screwed uh, and so what i decided to do was basically make my own lens and this is the s10 baton by uh i always forget who it's by it's the olight excuse me s10 baton and i mean this thing has a beam like no other it is a bright light it's got different types of settings on it and so what i decided to go ahead and do was basically make my own lens as i stated uh, I could have went a little bit more prettier with it, but I decided, you know, I really don't need to. Just as long as I got that red beam and it's actually, you know, uh, I can keep keep it sealed to where it's not going to get a bunch of moisture in there and, you know, disorder the light or whatnot. So let's go ahead and jump into details. I'll just give you guys a quick zoom. The rifle is safe. I wouldn't be pointing it at me or the camera as I was speaking. So the rifle is safe. That was my phone going off. <laughs> so let me zoom you guys in and show you here. So as you can see there, what I basically did was I got a perfect, uh, nice lens on there. And I mean, this thing's not coming off. It's on there really well. Uh, if I really needed it off, I could get it off, but I don't need it off at this moment. So that's where it's staying. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the materials and I'll show you guys what I did. So, what you can do is use like a Ziploc bag or tape, for instance. And you can paint that tape red and place it over your, uh, your, si your flashlight. But what I decided to go, do was go a little bit more in depth because I'm gonna be up in the mountaintops a little bit where it's more cooler. And I didn't know how good the Sharpie was gonna stay uh, painted onto tape or a Ziploc bag or anything like that. So I decided to search around, see what kind of bottles and stuff I had <clears throat> or what kind of plastic I have that you know has a red lens color to it or tint. And I found uh, an old medicine bottle that I use for you know like my fishing hooks and stuff and what I did basically was just cut out the circle and I used it the, the, the double sided tape and basically just cut it a circle around the double sided tape and that is how I got that mounted now I mean it's bright really really bright and it's gonna do its job and so I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about it hopefully you know I'm able to get some night footage on uh, for you guys. I don't have a night vision camera, but pretty sure I'll be able to try to get some night vision uh, footage for you guys. I will be doing so, a lot of footage for uh, competition because, I mean, it's a really big thing to me. And I, I really want to get it on video and stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Arizona did pass a law where you can do uh, rifle hunts at night now, which is awesome. Uh, 
It's got its limitations. I won't go over all that. You can check it on the website if you're from Arizona. But you're uh, you're allowed to use flashlights and stuff as long as it's not on a motorized vehicle. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked, and I am going to be using my AR pistol for my night hunts, uh, just for the fact that it's more compact, easier to carry around, and I, uh, it's a pistol. So you know you won't get all those. People saying, "Oh, you're you're pretty much, you know, screwing them over by doing, you know, your AR-15 rifle night hunts or whatnot." I don't know, whatever. I just, I don't know. I just decided to go with my AR pistol. I did take off my uh, my brace uh, since ATF has made the new restriction on shouldering the brace. Uh, just to play it safe and stuff like that. I decided to take the brace off that way I can actually use my cheek weld and I can sem somewhat, you know, still shoulder my AR pistol or at least keep it braced up against my cheek to where I have a better shot instead of holding the brace out. I mean, this the rifle is a little bit heavy, so trying to hold the brace out on your arm and, you know, do all this number, it, it's kind of difficult. And, um, I mean, I, I, I hate that, you know, they changed that. We can't shoulder our our uh our brace but the sig tac brace but you know what rules are rules you got to abide by them uh and you know breaking them ain't gonna get you no nothing good so i decided to take the brace off and put my cheek weld on that way i can you know cheek my ar pistol while i'm out doing my night hunts so really cool uh with that being said i mean it's a really simple task really easy to do and I'm pretty happy with it you guys seeing it, it spotlights really well a lot of people say you can hunt with regular standard flashlights you know just a white beam but you have the op you have the chances of you know spooking off a predator due to shadowing now they are nocturnal lights can hurt their eyes but I think what spooks them the most is the shadowing from a white light, you know, basically rotating. So going with a red light, they're colorblind, and they don't see that red. And so, I mean, you got that red beam on them, and they don't see it, and you, you know, you, you're able to get your shots, you're able to see the eyes glow or whatnot, and you can just, you know, take your shots and, you know, complete your hunt. So... We'll see how it does out there uh, in the garage. You know, I, I'm only standing probably about 25 feet from the wall that it was beaming on. But I mean, this flashlight, I love this flashlight. It's one reason it's mounted where it is. It's on one of my most favorite, you know, firearms. So we'll see how it does. Stay tuned, you guys. Hope this uh, do-it-yourself project is going to help you guys out in your future hunts. So that's pretty much it from here. I'm up and out. God bless you guys. Stay tuned. Two more days until the hunt. I'm stoked. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. And I'll be bringing you guys along. Even if I don't get to shoot any oats, um, just because I'm handling the video camera, you know what? My buddies are going to be right on the side of me, and they're pretty much sharpshooters. So <laughs> as long as I can get some really good footage, that's all that matters to me. Uh, pretty sure we'll switch off the cameras here and there. But footage is a big thing to me. Uh, I do want to add one thing is if you plan on going on some uh, hunts, get a converter if you have rechargeable items. Uh, a converter, I'll probably do a pro product review on that. I actually got it packed up right now, so I don't want to have to run and grab it. Uh, but it actually plugs in your cigarette lighter, and you can plug any 12-volt household item into it. And my Coyote electric call is rechargeable, but it plugs it only into wall adapters. Now the converter has a wall adapter, so I plug it into the cigarette lighter, now I can plug my e-collar in and I can charge up my uh, e-collar without having to buy a bunch of batteries and stuff, so it's really awesome. And um, so yeah, stay tuned you guys, much love, respect, sorry to blabber on, I just wanted to share, you know, nice little project that's uh, I think is going to work out pretty well. Alright, stay tuned for the hunt, I'm up and out. Peace.